stopped using caffeine. What's going on? So I mentioned in the last video that I was going to tell you why I wear this thing. Look at this. It looks like one of those uh, pull chains off of a lamp or something. And why this thing is so important in my life. I'm going to do that today. Woo woo. So I call this right here a do the things bracelet. You know that proverbial string on your finger tied to your finger thing that you're supposed to tie a string to? Your... It's gonna fall off, it's gonna get lost, it's gonna be a string on your finger. Nobody wants that. So instead, bracelet. Now this thing moves around a lot and it feels kind of funny. And that's the point. Because it's supposed to remind me that life exists, that I'm supposed to be doing something, that I'm forgetting something. And you know what? So far it's done a really good job of that when I remember to wear it. So I recommend putting on something like this early in the morning right after you wake up. And all those 2018 New Year's resolutions are going to be a lot easier to accomplish if you remember they exist. Huh? Huh? Number two. This thing. Listen to it. You hear that ticking noise? Huh? This is the activity timer. It reminds you that even though you're not doing anything, life's ticking away. Is the white balance off? Do I look better now? You see, when you're doing something, sometimes you get distracted. You get on Twitter, you start scrolling through Twitter, you get distracted with Twitter. There may be a Twitter problem. But you get distracted by other things too. The beautiful day outside or or that other thing you're supposed to be doing, or your to-do list, or that other thing that you're supposed to be doing, which is your to-do list. And this constant reminds you that you're supposed to be doing something. Kind of like this reminds you that you're supposed to be doing something. But in the case of the activity timer, it reminds you that you're supposed to be doing something right now. That you, not someone else, has decided this is the amount of time that I'm going to allot to this activity. And that's another great thing about it. It keeps the activity to an allotted amount of time. Sometimes if you're doing something, especially if you're writing or editing or proofing or writing or editing or proof, you can lose track of time. You can lose track of reality. You can lose track of everything. And while that seems good, it's not good because you burn out really fast. Avoid the burnout. Use an activity timer. Preferably one that click, 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 tick, tock, tick, tocks. And take control of your life. Remember your goals, set a time limit for your goals, and remember that every passing second life is ticking by whether or not you accomplish your dreams. Go do something.